Hi, I'm Ralph. Welcome to my kitchen. Tonight, we are talking about steak. Not just any steak, we are talking about ribeye steak. Definitely my favorite, and I hope that it's everybody else's favorite as well. Um, if you watched any of my other videos, you may have seen my reverse sear steak method. It works awesome. Tonight is gonna to be just as dramatic only it does not take as long as the reverse sear method. This is called the cold sear method. Cold sear method, how can you sear a steak with cold? You're about to find out. Let's get started. First, we have a ribeye steak. I'm putting in a probe, sticking it deep into the meat. We're going to be patting it down to make sure that it is as dry as possible. You want to have the steak dry. Otherwise, it's not going to get as good of a sear on it as it possibly could. We're going to be putting the steak into a cold and we're going to be bringing that over to the cooktop. But before we do, let's talk about ribeye for just a moment. First thing to look for in a ribeye steak, lots and lots of marbling. Next thing to look for is this part up here called the cap. There's two parts to a ribeye steak. There's this body of it, and then there is the cap. The ribeye steak itself is one of the most tender cuts of meat within the cow. This cap is going to be the most tender part of the ribeye. So when you're shopping for a ribeye steak, look for as big of a cap as possible. They cut these things, it goes across the back of the cow, so at one end that cap is going to be small, at the other end it's big. You want to look for a ribeye steak that has the biggest cap possible. Now, you'll notice it's in a cold pan. There's no heat here. At this point, I am going to turn the flame on all the way up, and I'm going to set the timer for two minutes. We're going to just let it cook from a cold pan to a hot pan within the next two minutes. So, let's see how things go. Oh, before I forget, that probe that I put in was a thermostat. It's a meter thermostat. Meter is the brand. And it will actually send a message to my tablet or to my phone, and it will tell us the estimated cooking time to get to our target internal temperature of 120 degrees for a medium rare. So I'm going to set that here and it will let us know how long to, to keep cooking it. And if you want a link to that meter thermometer, it is down below in the description. That's our first two minutes. Gonna turn it over, start the timer. Now, you can tell this is not very seared yet. It will get seared. We are going to be building that sear with every time we flip it, we're going to be flipping it every two minutes until we get up to the correct temperature. You can hear it sizzling in its own fat. There was nothing on this pan before. The steak itself was dry. You saw us pat it, pat it down. So it's that melting fat that it's cooking in right now. Okay, that's been two minutes for that side. Now we flip it over again, only now we turn the heat down about halfway. And we're going to be cooking it on lower heat, about medium heat, for the rest of the time. 
and we're going to be flipping it every two minutes. As you can see, we're starting to take on some more color here. The steak is starting to look better. So we only have about a minute to go. At this point, let me just say, if you are finding this video helpful, I'd appreciate it if you click a like down below, maybe give me a subscription, because your subscription is, is your way of telling me that I'm providing the kind of content that you want. Also, if you could leave me a comment, especially if you leave me some ideas for future shows, that would be fabulous. Thanks. We are almost done. It looks like it's ready to remove from the heat. Now, the steak is looking really good. We are going to let it rest for about five minutes and we will be right back. Okay, we're back. While we were waiting, I put a little butter on top during the resting period. Now let's cut it open and see what we've got. Oh, is this super tender? Now, one key here is you notice I did not put salt on this just before cooking. I put salt on this several hours ago and left it in the refrigerator because what happens is the salt brings moisture out of the steak and then it puts the moisture back into the steak with the salt. Look at that. Nice. Now, if you want it done a little bit more than this, a little bit well done as opposed to medium rare or medium, I will have a chart of internal temperatures in the description down below. But this is cutting so easy. It'll make a great dinner tonight. Any leftovers will make a great addition to salads or omelets. Let's taste one of this, find out just how it is. Mm. That is very, very good. You've got to try this method. And as you can see, it only took a few minutes. With that said, I'm going to get ready to eat. So I will see you next time. Bye-bye.